Hi, my name's Andy Smith. I'm going to give you a short tour of the timpani of the orchestra. The modern timpani bridges the gap between the double bass section and the percussion section. In that modern timpani are written to be partly a bass instrument and partly a percussion instrument. So that as well as playing um, a little bit of Beethoven 5. It's the opening of the last movement of Beethoven's Fifth Symphony, which is just a rhythm on two drums. But then you get exciting things that are written for two drums, which have a completely different meaning. For example, in the sunrise section of Strauss's Alzheimer's Brax Zarathustra, the timpanist, it goes, Bam, 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 ba bam, and then everybody's waiting, and the timpanist goes. <laughs> and really has a chance to show off. And that that makes the makes the difference to the whole opening of the piece. The instrument isn't just playing tonic and dominant for the sake of playing tonic, tonic and dominant, it becomes part of the orchestra texture. You might want to ask how timpani work. Well, centuries ago, the instrument didn't have all this framework that you can see down here. All this here, that wasn't there. It was just a bowl with a piece of skin usually calf skin or goat skin, stretched across. And when you tightened it up, it made a higher noise. And when you loosened it, it made a lower noise. And the timpanist in those days, to tune them, would have to turn all the keys to get the instrument even so it rang nice and to get a nice pure note. If, if all these keys were not in tune with each other, then you would get a note that, was, that would wobble and wouldn't sound very nice. But this sounds really clean. Bomb. There's no doubt as to what notes I'm playing. The way the instrument tunes is a little bit like an umbrella, in that when you open and close an umbrella, just pushing one central pivot opens and closes the umbrella. In the same way, although it works in an opposite sort of way, because of the tension on the bowl, the instrument actually gets tighter as you push the umbrella up and looser as you let the umbrella down. Modern composers like, uh, well, I call them modern composers, but, but uh, I mean Stravinsky, Janacek and Bartok, people who realized the, the potential of this, this type of tuning system, wrote an awful lot for it, even, uh, even for uh, uh, the timpani, playing tunes. So that's how it comes. So you can go um, so you can pl actually play tunes and notes by, by tuning the instruments. Whatever sound you make on the timpani, it will be individual because no two timpanists play in the same way. And no two timpanists hit the instruments in the same way. But whatever it is you do, you will alter the tutti sound of the whole orchestra. And that is really crucial. And therefore, you know, I have, I have people come to concerts who come and say, well, oh, the drums were great in that. And I say, well, what about the rest of the orchestra? Oh, they were great too. But you did something that, that elevated it to a different level. And that's, that's the art of playing the timpani. Students often ask me what, what the key to success is, and there isn't one. Because each individual timpanist has an individual style. It's not like playing the cello or playing the violin. There isn't a set way of playing the timpani. And therefore, 
They own, they, I help them to develop their own style. The school of violin playing is something that's totally different. It's evolved over centuries. But what has evolved over centuries here are the instruments. So the instruments from being hand-tuned drums, they're now pedal drums, you can play tunes, do all sorts of uh, wonderful things with them. And you have a huge range going from uh, effectively a bottom C below the, the bass clef right up until somewhere in, in, in the treble clef above middle C up to an E or an F. So now I'm going to take one pair of sticks and show you how you can make a variety of sounds with just one type of stick. If you play near the edge, you get a thin but very clear sound. But you don't get a lot of tone. You get the pitch, but not a lot of tone. If you move further into the skin, towards the middle, in what I call the normal playing area, you get proper sound. If I go towards the middle, then you get this. the same stick. Now also, if you hit the drum in a certain way and let it ring, you get a nice round sound, but then if I use my other hand, I can cut the sound short by going and you get a totally different sound. And so the variation of sound that you can get from just one pair of sticks is enormous absolutely enormous. And it's really important to realize that when you play the timpani, you're actually playing as much with your hands as you are with the sticks. If you've enjoyed learning about the instruments in the orchestra, why not try our iPad app, The Orchestra, featuring Esapekka Salonen and the Philharmonia Orchestra. Fully interactive video playback lets you view the orchestra from all angles, and the revolutionary beat map shows you who is playing when. Follow along with synchronized scores, hear the inside scoop in audio commentaries, and get a 360 degree view of all the instruments. Available for download in the App Store on iTunes.